guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you my at home beauty maintenance routine so this is going to be everything from how i wax my upper lip to how i smooth out my skin and also how i trim my hair i also want to thank pune king yule for kindly sponsoring this video i'm going to be talking about their calming line in a few minutes so stay tuned for that so i start off my beauty maintenance routine by doing a hair mask so i like to do my hair masks before I shampoo, which I know is different from what people typically do, but I have just been using this hair mask by a brand called Color Wow. I really like it. I'll link it in the description below for you guys. And after I'm done putting the hair mask on, I take a wet, warm towel. This is actually my son's towel. And I just wrap my hair in it until I'm ready to shampoo and condition. Then I wash my face using the CeraVe Cream to Foam Cleanser. Lately, my skin has been acting up. I actually shared this with you guys on Instagram. So here is a video clip. Not only have I had some mask knee, but I've also had some really bad inflammation and irritation on my cheeks. Luckily, I was recently introduced to the three products from Pune King Yule's Calming Line, which have helped me to completely alleviate all of the skin issues that I have been dealing with. This isn't my first time using Pune King Yule. I absolutely love their essence toner. It's a skincare safe for me and I've raved about it here on my YouTube channel multiple times. Their calming line is just as soothing as the Essence Toner. It takes troubled, irritated, acne-prone skin and soothes it, revealing healthy and smooth skin. And as you guys know, my skin has been looking amazing lately, but after I got back from the vacation in Florida, somehow my skin did a complete 180 and became incredibly irritated and Pune King Yule's products completely alleviated all of those issues for me. The three products in their calming line are most suitable for combination and oily skin. Their products are cruelty-free, non-comedogenic, alcohol-free, paraben-free, allergen-free, and fragrance-free, which is key for me because my skin gets really irritated when I use skincare products with fragrances. The Calming Deep Moisture Toner is clinically proven to be safe at treating acne prone skin. So will this toner help clear acne? Yes, but it won't do it in a way that will potentially irritate your skin because it actually has ingredients in it that literally calm your skin like Centella Asiatica and tea tree extract. These ingredients control sebum and oil production while calming overactive skin cells. It also contains hyaluronic acid, which helps to deeply hydrate your skin. This is an ingredient that I cannot be without in my skincare routine. So the next two products in the calming line are the Calming Moisture Barrier Cream and the Calming Moisture Repair Balm. So the Calming Moisture Barrier Cream works well as a moisturizer on acne-prone skin because it helps to reduce oil and sebum production while maintaining a healthy moisture balance. So like the Calming Deep Moisture Toner, the Calming Moisture Barrier Cream is also clinically proven to be safe at treating acne-prone skin. The Calming Moisture Repair Balm is a highly moisturizing balm that gives you a dewy and refreshed look. You just apply a thin layer to your skin and it creates a moisture barrier on our skin that helps to restore and rebuild healthy skin. So it's actually Pune King Yule's fifth anniversary and you can shop all three of the products from their calming line via the link in the description of this video. Once I'm done with my skincare routine, I get in the shower and I start washing my hair. I use the Neutrogena Anti-Residue Shampoo when I'm doing my beauty maintenance routine because this gets rid of any buildup of products, oil. This is not something that I use every single time I wash my hair. It's just like once every two weeks as a clarifying shampoo. So then I use As I Am's Coconut Co-Wash. This is also 
also not something that I use every time I wash my hair. I only use it after using the anti-residue shampoo to add some extra moisture to my hair. As part of my beauty maintenance routine, I'm gonna deep clean my armpits. This is like really weird. I feel like I sound weird saying that, but I get a lot of buildup of deodorant under my armpits. I like to do a mixture of baby Castile soap and water, and I just scrub my armpits with this combination, and then I rinse it off, and then I shave. If I don't do this, then I'll get deodorant residue in the razor, and it's just a big problem. So this helps to get rid of all of that. And then I rinse out the co-wash and I put my hair up in this hair drying towel. Then I wash my body just with my regular body soap and I also use a body scrub. I'm not gonna show you guys shaving my legs because I have seriously showed you guys that so many times lately. Um, so I don't think you guys need to see that again. Then once I'm done in the shower, I apply the As I Am leave-in conditioner that goes along with the co-wash. So next in my beauty maintenance routine, I like to do a deep moisturization is that a word of my legs and just of my skin in general so i start off with my favorite shea butter as you guys know and then i use jojoba oil on top of that but it does not stop there i used to use a wooden dry brush but i realized that that was collecting a lot of bacteria so now i use one that is made of silicone this is just dry brushing if you guys are not familiar with it it just helps to exfoliate your skin and just make it really smooth. Apparently it helps with cellulite and stretch marks. I don't know if that's true, but I just really like to do it because as you can see, the leg on my left is the one that I used the brush on and I moisturized and the one on the right is the one that I haven't used anything on. You can see the big difference. The one on the left just looks a lot brighter and smoother and glowier. So I really like to do this just to maintain some smooth skin. Next, I do my oral hygiene routine. I brush my teeth, floss, and use mouthwash. I do this every night regardless if I'm doing my beauty maintenance routine, but when I'm doing the specific maintenance routine, I also like to whiten my teeth with these crust white strips. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how I trim my hair. So, this is not cutting my hair by any means. This is literally trimming the very end of my hair. I use this ponytail method. I put my hair in a really smooth ponytail when my hair is still semi-wet and then I bring the ponytail to the front and I trim the ends. Then I do my eyebrows, so I start by trimming them. I just pull them up a little bit with the spoolie and then I just trim them and I also pluck my eyebrows. So typically I get them waxed or threaded, but in between that I just like to do this just to maintain a nice shape. So then I wax my upper lip. I never get my upper lip waxed professionally because it is a complete waste of money. I can just do it at home with these easy wax strips. So then I take care of my nails. I like to clean underneath my nails just to get rid of any dirt. Then I file them down and then I push back the cuticles and use this cuticle oil. So I get manicures every two weeks, gel manicures, but in between the gel manicures, I just like to do this little routine to maintain them and keep them looking nice. This has been my beauty maintenance routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments comments below. Thank you so much again to Pune King Yule for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel, and I will talk to you guys next time.